From a young age, I was attracted to serving the church in some ways. I didn't know what that would look like, uh, but in middle school, I'd say it's when I first thought about being a priest. I had faithfully like, wanted to understand what the church was teaching, but sometimes the way it's presented is the, the church teaches X and, oh no, this is a difficult thing and this can't be like cause for joy. And yet seeing the friars study and engage with the truths of the faith and recognize that this was life-giving uh, was very captivating for me. Yeah, I think God has helped me grow in a, with a love for serving his people in ministry because I recognize that I've been given here in my studies the pursuit of truth, the sharing of that truth through preaching, the contemplation of that truth through prayer, and the living of that truth in fraternity. So those are the four main hallmarks of the Dominican life. And wherever you are and wherever you see Dominican life, those will be there. At 6.30, I'm in the chapel for morning meditation. We have half an hour of common meditation, 6.30 to 7. Uh, at 7, we pray morning prayer, lauds. As soon as that ends, we go into mass, and that ends around 8. So the first of the first two hours, I'm awake, an hour and a half of that are in the chapel in prayer. It's a good way to start the day. Then at eight, breakfast, with then time for some study, but mostly classes in the morning. At noon we have rosary and midday prayer, followed by lunch. And then in the afternoon, again, there might be more classes, um, time for more study time for some recreation. And at 5.30 we have Office of Readings and Vespers and our evening prayer. Often there's ministries in the evenings. And these days there's a lot of Zoom Bible studies or doing RCA in the parish. But if you don't have a ministry in the evening, then time for studies, uh, reading, writing, catching up on whatever you're behind on. That wraps down around nine um, when we have Compline, so night prayer, which is probably the most beautiful office here. We keep the lights dim, the candles are burning, our chants. We have some very unique Dominican chants that we pray at Compline. It's, I know it's a lot of brothers' favorite office of the day. After Compline, things are usually pretty quiet. Um, some people will go down and just chat in the recreation room for a little while just to kind of chill after a busy day. Others will go to the rooms and go to bed pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, that's the day. Yeah, when I think about being part of a tradition that's 800 years old that served the church in so many ways, I feel quite unworthy. But one of the things that we say when we make our vows is we ask for God's mercy and yours, yours being the brethren. Relying on that mercy, relying on God's mercy gives uh, me a great confidence in this vocation because I trust that he will he will give us mercy to live this high calling, um, to live it well, and to bring to completion the work he has begun in my vocation.